Okay, so in activity number three, um, we're gonna model how a difference in temperature can affect the severity of storms. Um, we've been investigating how temperature of an air parcel can affect the amount of rain in a storm. And now we're gonna use the modeling tool to show how warmer weather caused different amounts of rain during two different storms. Okay, so this is the data that we've been looking at. Okay, storm one was before, um, woo! Uh, sorry, <laughs> whenever I move, sometimes the table stuff, the stuff on the table knocks over. Um, storm number one was before the lake um, was put in. And then after um, the lake was put in, we had storms two, three, and four. Um, and we're going to specifically look at storms two and three right now. So we're going to be um, using the modeling tool, I keep on saying that, um, to show how warmer temperature caused different amounts of rain for storms two and three. So things that we're going to do, we're going to label the model, we're going to show the temperature of the troposphere at each height, okay? So um, thinking about, um, you know, the troposphere of the parcel as the energy is transferring from the sun um, to the surface surface to the air parcel, then as it starts rising, and then once it's stopped rising. And this is going to make more sense when you actually see the modeling tool. Um, and so we're going to be using words like very low, low, medium, high, very high. Um, we're going to show the amount and the direction of the energy transfer using arrows. Okay, low, medium, or high. And we're going to show the parcel temperature after the parcel has start, stopped rising. So that's going to be at its top most piece. Okay, normally when that rain starts falling, if there's there was rain, and there was because we see that in the data. Um, the amount of liquid water after the parcel has stopped rising and the amount of condensation and rain after the parcel has stopped rising. And so we're going to be using these keys here um, on our modeling tool. All right, guys. So here we have um, our our model. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put up my annotation tools. And first storm that we're going to show is we're going to show storm two. All right. So this, remember, is before rainfall. So we're just going to rainfall just so that we can remember. And this is after. Woo, Mr. Heo, you have got to draw better. All right. So before we have any rainfall, before we have any clouds, before we have anything, okay, our parcel temperature in storm two is high. All right, and part of our do was that we needed to show the energy transfer as well with some arrows. All right, so the energy transferred um, from the surface water to the parcel is a medium. All right, so then what does, do we have any liquid water? Do we have a parcel temperature? Okay. No, we don't. Um, then we're gonna go to this next level. All right, and then the troposphere temperature is low at that point, so our parcel temperature is low. And the amount of liquid water is medium. And then if we got really high up here, it would be very low. So for storm two, really what we're looking at is what level of the troposphere did we come to? And we came to right here to this middle box. And so how was big was our cloud and how much rainfall did it have? All right. So this is what storm two looked like. This was after the lake. This was... Um, when it was about 81 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so now let's look at what the difference. Oh man, you know what I'm gonna do guys? 
So I'm going to take a screenshot real quick and hopefully it'll save that and we're going to come back to that in just a moment. All right, I'm going to do storm three. Let me just erase all of what I've got over here. All right. So then, all right, oh, so we're back here at storm number three. All right, so storm three had that temperature of, of 104. So the parcel temperature ended up very high. All right, so if the energy transferred to just this lower level right here um, to this bottom one, it would be medium, but it didn't transfer to that one. Okay, if it went here, the um, troposphere temperature would have been low, or if it went here, it was very low. Remember though that we started here with very high, right? And because we started with very high, that means that that parcel is going to rise to the very highest. So we're actually going to be looking at the parcel when it comes here. All right, so that means that we're gonna have high amounts of liquid water, and we're gonna end up with a very low Parcel temperature. Remember that it stops, that parcel stops rising once it gets to the same temperature of the surrounding air. Okay, and then we're gonna get this biggest cloud because the higher it rises, the bigger it goes. And then there's gonna be a lot of rainfall there. All right, so I'm gonna pause this for a second and pull up both pictures for you. Okay guys, bad news, I did not save my screenshot and that's okay. Um, but the difference between two and three was in the level that um, this troposphere. So in storm two, the parcel only got to here, all right? And then in storm three, we came to this. Okay, and if we think about it, so the higher it got, the bigger the cloud, and so I'm going to actually, I'm going to do storm two in this color. Oops. So storm two only had a cloud here, and it had like this, and then um, the liquid water here was medium and its temperature was low, okay? And so that was that difference between that two and the three. And what does that make us know? What does that help us understand is that the higher a cloud can go, the more rain um, that can fall. All right, guys, let's move on to our next activity.